So the first exper experiment we ran in London, and we had a leaf, and we had a control leaf, and we sent intention just to change those little light emissions to make the thing glow, because we felt that would be the easiest way for people to imagine it, make it glow. The next week, Gary calls me up. He says, you won't believe this. There's so much glowing effect on this leaf that there's a neglect effect for the other leaf. The other leaf is darker than usual. This one is glowing. Now, when we say glowing, we mean glowing according to his equipment, CCD cameras. You couldn't see this with the naked eye, but you can see it with the naked eye with photos. I can't show them to you because we're publishing the study, and scientific journals insist on, on publishing all the data first. So now we've run three germination experiments, and we just ran one with my group on Thursday. And with this, we've tried to send intention to make seeds grow a bit faster. And we had three other sets of seeds. And we found, when Gary did the analysis with special statistics, that all three so far, we don't have the results yet for Thursday, also had an effect. The seeds sprouted much faster than the control seeds. How about that? In one case, it was 100 people in Rhinebeck, New York, sending intention to the seeds in the University of Arizona. Just 100 people. And we had a giant, significant effect. That's what they were like. We just sent intention to some seeds like that. And our intention was very specific for them to sprout at least three inches by the fourth day of growing. It's always important to be very specific with intention. We now know that intention is what they call coherent, which is another way of saying it's well-ordered light. And once again, Gary, with his equipment, with his special, special, very sensitive CCD cameras, has actually photographed light coming out of the dominant hands of healers. We know from all the amazing, amazing evidence that has been amassed by people like Dean Radin and Marilyn Schlitz. And Marilyn I also want to honor because she was one of the first people out there to do direct mental influence on living systems. The first person, among the first people to do really good studies of how mind affects other living systems. But there have been studies showing that we can affect everything from machinery to single cell studies to full-fledged human beings. Many, many, many thousands of studies. That's why I have to laugh when people talk about there being no evidence. Somebody said that the field was based on Star Wars, nothing more than Star Wars. And I wanted to send them those 50 pages of notes and bibliography and say, you know, tell me that this is science fiction. We know from a lot of studies that it's actually a something, you know? You know that phrase, a thought is a thing. It more properly, we should be saying a thought is a thing that affects other things because it's affecting things at every moment. We're a, we, it's, it's, a, it's an energy we've actually been able to measure.